slack-jawed amazement, just crazy, ridiculous ability to detoxify things. But it uses nutrition to do it. It uses vitamin C to do it. It uses the Mighty 90 to do it, which is why, in my opinion, the best way to detox is to get on your Mighty 90. Well, the best way to detox is, is not to expose yourself in the first place, to eliminate exposure. But after that, the best way to detox is your Mighty 90 essential nutrients. Support the health of the liver cells. I don't, I'm not a big believer in these l detox formulas. You know, why? Detox formulas are usually herbs. Not that I have a problem with herbs, but they're medicine. Why would you give your body some me more medicine to deal, to deal with? And again, herbs are medicine, right? But there's no cell that's using anything in an herb with some exceptions, some major, some, uh, uh, some uh, exceptions for nutrients that are found in herbs, like vitamins or perhaps uh, uh, pl flavonoids or carotenes. Flavonoids and carotenes, they're kind of like nutrients in a way. They're not essential, perhaps, but they're nutrients. Other than that, an herb has to be detoxified. Other than that, an herb's a medicine. So we use this word inflammation. We throw it around a lot, but we don't talk about it for what it really is. It's a protective response. It's marked by four phenomena. If you go to medical school, they'll tell you dolor, calor, rubor, tumor. Those are the four hallmark signs of inflammation. Dolor for pain, calor for heat, rubor for redness, tumor for swelling. Dolor, calor, rubor, tumor, pain, heat, redness, and swelling. Those are the signs of inflammation. But here's where it becomes a problem. See, dolor, calor, rubor, tumor, pain, heat, redness, and swelling are obvious when we get a black eye or when we break our leg or we sprain our ankle. Those are obvious. You can see the swelling. You can see the redness. You can feel the pain. You can feel the heat. You can sense the heat. But the kind of inflammation that causes our diseases is not the kind of inflammation that causes a black eye. And this is so important. It's another distinction. So you got your cell distinction, cells versus organs. You got your uh, inflammatory distinction, inflammation versus, versus disease or versus anti-inflammation. And then, and then you have a very important distinction that nobody talks about. Macroinflammation versus microinflammation. When was the last time you heard anybody talk about that? You can't even Google it. I can't even do research on it. It's not even there. Macroinflammation and microinflammation. Macroinflammation is the kind of inflammation doctors know about. Dolor, calor, rubor, tumor. Macroinflammation is a black eye. Macroinflammation is pain and it's heat and it's redness and it's swelling. But microinflammation is invisible. You don't know it's there until it's too late because it happens at the microscopic level of a cell. One cell, one little tiny dinky cell that's one one hundredth the size of a head of a pin is where these inflammatory diseases begin. And then it happens with two cells, and then three, and then four, and then five. And because cells are so, so tiny, we don't see it, we don't know it, we don't sense it until it's too late. But if you understand the logic then you understand that all we got to do is eliminate the inflammation by eliminating the cause of the inflammatory response. It's a protective response. It's a defensive response. So figuring out what that offending agent is, that's the key. Figuring out the offending agent to any kind of inflammatory health issue, which is all chronic degenerative health issues. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with you and your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the Longevity products, the Longevity business, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you have questions about the truth, about my true skin health products. It's got a letter, by the way. It's got a, a, a text. Hi, Ben. I just wanted to let you know I placed an order for the serum and balm last night. My plan is to get the other two uh, in the next month or so. I have to tell you that for the first time in years, my face is starting to feel like skin and not red burning sandpaper. I was actually smiling yesterday without pain. This is a gal, Dawn, who's got some severe eczema on her skin. She finishes anyway. Thanks for this awesome skincare line. I'm so grateful to be smiling again. It's not me. It's not the truth. It's you. It's your skin. It's your skin cells. Your skin cells respond when they're fed, when they're nourished, like the rest of the body responds, like the rest of the cells of the body respond when it's fed and when it's nourished. And understanding this distinction between the cells and the organs is one of the keys to understanding how powerful the Mighty 90 essential nutrients are. 
If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, 844-236-6010 is our number. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the inflammatory process. And I do want to get to uh, Alzheimer's disease and dementia in the uh, inflammatory process. More about vitamin E and more about the fatty hormones, which we're still talking about, believe it or not. I haven't told you about pregnenolone. Love that stuff. We'll be talking about that in the coming days on the bright side. Okay, let's go to do, 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 let's go to Gwendolyn in St. Louis, Missouri. What's up, Gwendol- Gwendolyn? Is that right? Yes. What's going um, on, Gwendolyn? Bought- How you doing? Hi. Thank you for taking the call. I really admire what you're doing and thankful for your thank you. mission. Oh, oh, thank you. Um, Praise God. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I pray for you, and I thank the Father for you, Dr. Joel Wallach and Glenn Olson and all of the things that you guys are doing. Damn, thank um, you. Gwendolyn, are you a Longevity? You're a new person to Longevity, or have you been around? New. Yes, new. new. Yeah, trying to how new is new? The, uh, let's say about four months, maybe. Very nice. And how did you get introduced? And I'll, I'll get your question here next, but I just want to know how you got introduced sure. to... Sure. Um, my friend told me about it. She also sells it and takes it. She's always into this health situations and trying to get the world healed. Oh, I love so, it. I love it. We're a bunch, there's a bunch of us, Gwendolyn. Have you noticed? Like, we're a family, the longevity family. We're all dedicated to this. And I'm Good. loving this moment. I'm loving oh, this moment. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. So what's going on? How can I help you today? All right. Got a series of stuff. Trying to figure out how to do this thing right. Okay. So um, reflux, after reflux, but... I wrote out all the names of the medicine. and I No, no, no. Them. Just give me the bullet points. Acid reflux is oh. one. Okay. Um, uh, they gave me um, nervous leg syndrome, uh, medicine for that. Acid nervous reflux. what? Nervous leg? Yeah. Nervous. Okay, nervous leg, restless leg syndrome, and... Uh, yeah. And... Uh, acid uh, was, reflux. And acid reflux. Yeah, what was the other one? Or what's the next one? Um, prehypertension. Okay. And uh, the allergy shots. Allergy shots. Okay, listen, we're going to take care of everything in one fell swoop, all right? Now, I can give you all the mechanisms behind it all, but it's all related to the same basic thing. Acid reflux, restless leg syndrome, um, you know, I I remember what the other, uh, pre-hypertension, what was the fourth thing that you said before hypertension? Uh, Lymphatic nerve, they give me shots. Oh, yeah, the, the, okay, well, anyway, here's the deal. You got a digestive problem, Gwendolyn, and you sound like a smart woman, and you sound like you've been around the block a couple of times. I'm guessing you're in your 30s or 40s, correct? Um, more closer to 50. Closer yes. to 50, fine. So you know you have digestive issues. You know it, okay? Right. Cramping, blow. I'm not psychic, Gwendolyn. I'm telling you, this is how it works. Heartburn right. is when a sign down, of... What's that? When, she lay, when I lay down, my food come back up. All of it. Here's the thing. Your body's rebelling. Your body is fighting you. It's saying, don't put that in me anymore. And now it's broke. Now it's gotten worse because now you're not absorbing nutrients. That's what the restless leg syndrome is. And uh, now you're not handling sugar correctly. And that's what the hypertension is. And there's no pre-hypertension. Your, your blood pressure's messed up. So here's what you got to do. Number one, start working on your gut, on the digestive system. That's job number one, Gwendolyn. I can tell you a lot of other things, but until you do this, you're not going to get maximum benefit from anything else I tell you. Get a, food di- uh, get a notebook and start doing what's called a food diary where you write down everything you eat, try to eat as simply as possible, and it would be nice if you could do the, use the Swero V uh, from Longevity, from Beyond Organics, if you could use it once, uh, perhaps maybe once a month or, or a couple of times a month, just use the Swero V all day. In any case, you want to keep track of foods and how, those, how you're responding to those foods. Right away, you're going to find some foods cause heartburn or cause uh, reflux. So those are going to be foods that need to be eliminated. We need data. That's the first step. Second step is start to patch up the gut. Get yourself on the nightly essence and do it today. I wouldn't wait one day, one more day, Gwendolyn. Get yourself on the nightly essence, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, uh, or three in the evening, and you could also throw in three in the afternoon. Of course, the Healthy Star Pack, you're probably doing that, and if you're not, you should be. Uh, Sip on the Beyond Bye. Pain Tangerine. And then throw in some Fucoid Z, two in the morning and... Uh, uh, three in the morning and three at night, and again, you could throw in another three in the middle of the day if you so desire. Use the ultimate enzymes with all your meals, and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar wouldn't hurt you either. Try to grind up as much of your food as possible and make soups. Uh, veggie juice is wonderful. If you don't have a Vitamix, that would be a great thing for you to get. If you don't want to spend the money on a Vitamix, get a Nutribullet, which isn't quite as good, but it'll still do the job. You want to keep the fiber. The fiber is very, very important for the digestive system. And then 
the next, that's the digestive step. The next step is going to be blood sugar. You want to start to wean yourself off as best as you can. It's not easy. I know this. Personally, I know this, and I've seen it. Uh, people have difficulties with this. I, I realize it, but it's important to wean yourself off of bread, starches, cereals, uh, anything that breaks down quickly into sugar. You, veg, starchy vegetables, not as bad, but white potatoes, you know, not a great food. There's some nutritional benefit, but things that break down into sugar should be avoided, and the best way to get yourself off of sugar, and that includes, of course, sweets and desserts and soda pop and fruit juices, is to eat more protein, especially whey protein, but any protein. And then also you might want to use an amino acid called glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E. You can get it as a powder and a, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon a day or half a teaspoon twice a day can be great for sugar cravings. Also, interestingly, the glucogel caps can also be helpful for sugar cravings. Another benefit for the glucogel caps, glucosamine can be kind of sort of utilized like sugar, and that may help you as well. Of course, glucosamine will help you with your gut, and it'll help you with your joints, and it'll help you with a lot of keep wrinkles at bay, protect your blood vessels as well. So you got tons of stuff there, Gwendolyn. Uh, and I know I, I, I gave you, I, I don't didn't mean to give you TMI, too much information, but I want you to see all of the tools that are available to you without the medical model from the comfort of your own living room. We could take our health back, and, and I know that's a lot of stuff, but that's a demonstration of how important or how easy it can be to, uh, to uh, take advantage of all of the uh, wonderful ways that we have to take to keep our bodies healthy. What, were you going to say something else, ma'am? I got a bunch of calls it's I want to get to. Just one quick question. Yes, ma'am. One ma last question. Yes. Sometimes when I take the... Um my my um, Dr. Wallach's um, longevity powder. Yeah. Um, so put lemon in it just to help me drink it. Shouldn't Great. put lemon. Huh. You're talking about the Beyond Tangy? Beyond Tangy? Yeah. It yeah. sounds like you're doing too much, too big a dose. Uh, I would cut back on the dose, but lemon's great. If you can do it with lemon, that's great. Uh, personally, I don't. I I find a dose where I like the taste of it, and I stay at that dose, and then I just keep re-upping, keep refilling myself. But but lemon's still great. I love lemon. Lemon goes good with everything. Oh. All right, Gwendolyn, God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Hope to meet you sometime. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Susan in Arkansas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Susan. Oh, Susan. yes. Uh, hey, hi, Susan. Hi, Ben. Hey. I just got, and you're talking about Gwendolyn, I just got off of a eight-day lemon water fast. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Eight Painful days? Lemon. Wonderful, huh? Eight days? You didn't eat for eight days? No. Oh, I love it, Susan. Hey, we got to take a break. I want to hear all about it when we come back, okay? okay? So hang tight. Hang tight. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's see. We're talking to Susan in Arkansas. Hey, Susan. So I want to hear about this. I'll get your question in a sec, but I want to hear real quickly about your uh, your lemon juice fast. Eight days, no food, right? No food, no, nothing wow. solid. It was uh, organic lemons, the pure yeah. maple syrup, and the cayenne pepper. Now, this was in the 70s they had this, and yeah. somebody gave me the book, and then I did the salt flush with it, the two tablespoons of Himalayan salt and one quart of water. Wow. You didn't so tell really you, like don't tell your doctor, man. He'll get all mad at you because <laughs> you're supposed to go low salt. You're not supposed to have any salt. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So what's your question, sweetheart? How, how okay, can we now help I you? Need, oh, I, I got a puzzle here. Um, okay. I went for a screening of uh, bilateral legs, and they diagnosed PVD, peripheral vascular disease. Got it. Okay. But they said it was the valves and not plaque. Oh, and it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It's just a generic yeah. thing. The blood, yeah, your blood's not moving. Asymptomatic. You know, it was like three months ago, asymptomatic, and then 10 days ago. That's one of the reasons I got on the fast. Is because I I wanted to solve this without taking medication. Good for you. Anyway, you don't need medication. No, need medication. no, I haven't. No, I Her, don't. Hips, so I'm peripheral artery. Nurse. Di per, your nurse? Did you say? Uh, retired. Oh, how, how and I, I don't like take their meds. I love it. I love it. I love, I love it. it. Well, thank you so much for being a nurse. First of all, I got to every time I hear somebody's a nurse, I got to thank you because well, nurse, thank you, for you know, it's a, what you guys do for, for for humanity. The Florence Nightingale thing, man, it's amazing. Yes, I was a hospice nurse at the end. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. People, have, you know, unless people interact with the healthcare system, they have no idea how important nurses are. So, what way more important than physicians, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, so here's well, the deal. Anyway, I was asymptomatic, and then about 10 days ago, I was getting um, extreme pain in my uh, popliteal back of the knee area. 
Okay. And I mean, like, on a scale of one to ten, about ten, it was horrible, and it was right. intermittent. But here's the deal, um, though. Let me tell you, tell you about asymptomatic here. How old are you? Or approximately how old? 50s, 60s I'm, kind of thing? No, I'm, I'm uh, 